we go! myself in the process and that was on his weaker arm I'm the underdog he's a born uncle John Thompson Canada's Jonathan Thompson the left arm this is the arm where he really wants to perform on the right he burned himself out so there's a lot weighing on my mind going into this match with Kieran. It was really clear that John had been asking himself a lot of questions overnight. I feel the worst thing is not performing up to the level that Arm Wars requires. It's about giving more than you think you have. And and I, I wasn't able to do that. I didn't do it. Last chance saloon for Uncle John Thompson. First of all, please. Men's left arm. That's, take that bit below Uncle John, yeah? All super series. I'll get your elbow pad and take a bit, Kieran. Okay, guys, let's start off. Look, settle you down. So shoulders, which are good. Centre table is good. And just on that wrist, Kieran, coming off a slide a bit, okay? Wrist off. Morrison, John, stop you Thompson. Stop. I'm just trying to get comfortable on myself. I'm trying to get comfortable. Every bit of research I've done on Kieran tells me he's going to top roll with you. I know that he's going to top roll me. I know that he's going to get in my fingers. It's whether or not my hand can hold on. And he grips me low. And uh, I'm immediately thinking, what the hell is this? I'm going to give you every, every third chance, but when I see a first set, first set. Send this table pad off. Go ahead, Kira. Bring it off. Bring it off, please, Kira. Bring it off. Bring it up. Here we go! Yay! Morrison with the drive! <laughs> Uncle John hit the hook. Strange choice of technique there from John. I was not expecting that. I'm a top roller, and I've tried this fucking thing 10, 15 times this weekend, and it has consistently not worked very well. My confidence is so damaged that I have no faith in my ability to roll out. That was like a hot knife through butter, that one. Where was this, where was this, this hand and wrist? I thought you were meant to be some form of champion on your left. I thought it was meant to be dominant, but you didn't, you didn't hit where I thought you were going to go. Played right into it. Round number one and a terrible, terrible start for the Canadian. Kieran Morrison sets a very ominous tone. So not only does Kieran beat me in round one in a hook, but I've I've retweaked that elbow. Fucking elbow is just fucked. Oh. Relax, relax. Oh. He's diving in deep. Yeah. He's, he wants to block on the wrist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Get up high and pull. Forget the side. Just okay. pull from the back. Your hand is bigger, your hand is higher. And thank Fuck for Maynard, the guy who annihilated me just two days before, the guy who is ultimately responsible for my confidence being at an all-time low, is in my corner. Okay, gentlemen, please, let's have you back to the table. Come on, John. One, zero. I was aware he was getting pointers to pull straight back. I don't know if Maynard's seen me pull before, but he might have found a flaw. Let him go off the wrist, John. Oh! Elbow. 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 El
John. How much do you want this, guys? Oh, Here we go. He's recovering my knuckle. Look how high he is on my oh, knuckle. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, oh. It's not winning anymore, yeah? Here we go. Whoa. Morrison leading by one pin to zero at this stage. And I set up so high. Come on. John Thompson. He's a mental reset, get himself back in this matchup. Find that off, balancing John. ground. One warning. Not too thin, John. Come on. Be ready. Wrist off, John. Wrist off. Ready to go. On the way. Yes, John. Yes. 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 Nail it as hard as I possibly can. Wrist comes back. I have position. I have hand control. But Kieran just doesn't fucking stop. He's on point with the timing. And he hits the hand of the Scotsman. Kieran Morrison able to hold it up. Pulled me right on my bicep. I'm sitting there, I'm trying to get inside. I'm moving my elbow forward. It's like I'm cranking on his wrist as hard as I can. And he is fully shoulder dead. He is, he, hats off to this guy, because he's a little bit of a nut too. Uh, he is ready uh, to, to damage his arm. I'm trying to hit into him, and it's not working. And I get him within you know, a centimeter of the pad a couple of times. Can't finish him, can't finish him. The boys in the room are standing up at this point. They're, they're, you know, they're yelling, they're screaming. I can feel it. And then there's the final drive. Finally, something works. We get the pin. One off. That's what we want to see. Go for He wants to block on the wrist. You're stronger than that. Forget side. From the back. He found the gap now. Yeah. Do it, man. Contact. You need it. Turn my wrist too far. And if you're here, don't try to pin so hard. Breathe, wait. breathe, and wait for him to attack and empty him. Don't let him, don't let him squeeze into it. You've got to create that gap to get it on your wrist. Yeah? Just fire it in fast. Come on, John, this is your day. I can feel from, from the room throughout the weekend, I had become the underdog. And, uh, you got all these guys. When you haven't won yet, you have everyone in the room rooting for you. Not only do they want to see a good match, but you know they they know what they're going to get from me if I can succeed. I felt like it was a mutiny going on. One more. In my corner, I've got 15-time British national champion Ted Wilson. He's telling me to create a gap to protect my wrist. Make sure that it doesn't get into my fingers. Clamp down, lock it in, and hit sideways. It's great advice, man. I just need to put it in motion. One, one, the score. The feeling out process is officially over. Yeah, I'm not going to let you grip him like that, John. But you're just going to fight it off. You're instantly covering his knuckle. You come off that. That's perfect. If you stay there, that's perfect. Both men have reason for confidence, and both men know there's a lane now that they can win this match. All they got to do is stay in that lane. Stop, Kieran. Turn oh, rotation round the back. Yeah, yeah. That's that's okay. I can see both sides, of both knuckles. Here we Ready go. Round up, lift, look like a little drop top. again. Elbow foul. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. Coincidental well, elbow foul. No fouls. We start. Where, John? Oh. Go. Guys. John, you're climbing up there. 
Ready. Wrist. Yeah, I'll solve the wrist okay. when you come off okay. that knuckle. Come down. Ready, go. That. If the next few rounds go like that, we're golden. Miss the fucking go! I'm fucking missing it. I'm missing yeah. it. Watch the ref. And this is the negative side, right? I stay calm. I avoid the adrenaline dump. I'm not firing as fast as I need to. And Kieran did a very nice job. He dove in, and when he dove in, he absolutely secured with the bottom of his hand. Kieran Morrison. Smart move from the Scotsman shows that versatility and makes it so the hand doesn't matter. In round number three, he goes for the broke back press. Vicious efficiency. And I could not pull him out. Having that split second hesitation and him adding that extra power in the lower part of his hand, he just drove through me. Two to one. Sorry, What's yes. the ref? Light. Faster than sound. When you see his lips, wake up, John. Come on. <laughs> You're dead, John. I think he's going to try and use what worked for two, him in round two. One. Dragging me on in my bicep, pulling back into my fingers. Two pins to one. Morrison sure leading match. this match. The stop currently has his nose in front. Great pull. I don't want to force any knuckles then, but John, come down to touch. No, don't come with my phone, John. Okay. Bring that off. I'm starting to feel pain in my elbow. I don't know what's going to happen on this next off. round. Wrist off, John. Wrist off. No, don't. You're climbing over. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's my fault. When I ask you yep. to bring your yep. wrist around, don't take your fingers off. Yep, my fault. Okay. So we go into round four. Gripping up. I'm clear in my mind. Focused. Right, you have to come off his knuckle now. He's not wrapping, so you have to come down still. That's okay. Do not climb from the. Bring that round. Ready, go! Yes! On the way we go! Oh, he's almost right! Johnson hanging on to it, war in the table now! I just, I can't explain to you what's happening. But it's prohibiting me, still, from getting exactly what I need. It's prohibiting me, I'm just one sliver away from breaking through. And it's, it's the same feeling as having that guy one centimeter above the pin pad and you just can't pin him. I can notice that he's setting up different. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my hand and I'm pronating it as much as I can, setting my elbow underneath myself and setting low. And all I'm trying to do is, as soon as he tightens that strap, lock it up. Tighten yep. yep. And I'm locked in. More not. And that way, no side chance. press shaft. Hopefully, goes in my favour, and I can get him off of his shoulder and onto his bicep. Wrist off, off. Wrist off, John. Ready, go. Here we go! Yes. 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 And that pronator from John, but it's Kieran with a flat wrist that takes it. 3-1. 3 one the score, it's still alive, alive all. 3-1 the score. And mistakes we've seen before from John are costing him dearly once again. The emotion is there. The effort couldn't be anymore. But the direction is all wrong. All backwards, not enough side. Back pressure's great. But you need to have control. You need to have application. And a lot of John's efforts are being burned into the ether. He's 3-1 down. He's got no more chances. The man from Canada wants this thing so bad, but he's getting lost in his own pursuit. It's time to step up and to hit with abandon. Give it everything you've got and do not, do not back off. The pain from that was so, so bad, but my plan worked. Lock out the pronator, pull back, let the shoulder do all the work, and just lean with it. 
missed the go again. Round four, it's now three to one. There is no more deeper water. It's not a good place to be. You gotta dig to get out of three to one. Time, gentlemen, please, come on. And, uh. Come on, John. The deep, guttural pain of not achieving that was rising. John, are you gonna go into desperation mode? Okay. Just off slide. Looks Kevin, it's up. First off, Kevin. Ready to go? Yes! On the way we go! Oh, we go strike! Good, 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 good. Opportunity knocks. It's up to you whether you open the door. I've got two doors in front of me. One of them's a broken arm, and the other one's victory. Slip out. Feeling good again, though. Feeling good. Coiled up. Slip out. We go to straps. He's on the rise. I'm not sure how much I've got left to give. Kieran Morrison's experience is starting to show. John will never forgive himself if he ends up flying back to Nova Scotia, knowing that nerves and emotion cost him the match. My elbow is wrecked. My wrist is wrecked. Like, it's already toast. I got nothing but time after this. Let's worry about all those injuries later. One more loss. And I can't win the match. I'm just gonna have to throw myself out. Let's go to war. Get ready for brace for the Titan. Yep. Save it. <laughs> Same thing, John, but harder. Come on. Shoulder. It's hard, John. He's got a pump to keep it. All right, All right then. All the rest. Four center. Press and center. Get the fucking center. Stay in your day, John. Come on! Wait for me, John! Wait! Ready, go! Oh, 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 so high on life. Don't even fucking tell me that's not Armour's quality. That's what Armour's is about. That's what I've been looking for this whole weekend. I couldn't find it and I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it with the left. I'm looking for it with the right hand. There it is. That's what it is. You want to know what Armour's is? It's that fucking match. And I lost. It was the best match I've ever had in my life. Arm Wars. What's it all about? There's a clue in the title. Everyone was giving standing ovation to those guys. Balls to the wall, nothing left 
from the moment the ref said go to the moment both men were collapsing, gasping for breath. There was like goosebumps and everyone just went crazy. So um, I was, I'm, I'm really happy I really saw that in person. Round five of the match between John Thompson and Kieran Morrison on the left hand was the essence of arm wrestling. The essence of arm wars. One of the greatest rounds that I have ever seen. After the match, Neil, Neil told me that it was top 10 best matches he's ever seen in his life. I mean, that's probably the best thing anybody's ever told me. I mean, how many matches has Neil pick up seen? All of them. <laughs> I'm at Arm Wars, and I had the best match of my life. And this isn't even the end. We got round six. Best match of Iron Straighten our rest. Get it straighten our I'm tell you right now, it's probably useless since your arm is toast. However, if you end up in that same spot, bring your elbow forward. Yeah, I was trying, but my elbow's already fucked. It's so painful. Ah, thank you. Motherfucker. All or nothing in the last round, John. Do the same again. Harder. Everybody in the place knows they've just witnessed something special. And your attention's drawn to the corner of John Thompson where Maynard Nentjes, a man that punished John Thompson left-handed earlier in the week, he stood there advising the man on what he needs to do. Now, as everybody who follows the sport of arm wrestling knows, it's deeply technical. Minor adjustments can mean massive rewards. So what are the words of wisdom that come out of the mouth of the man from the Netherlands. Okay, John. Same thing. Only harder. Yeah! One more! Come on! Come on! Come on! Won the match, but I'm not sure if I've ruined myself in the process. My elbow is about to fall off. I'm surprised that the bone didn't detach that match put me in so many bad positions and John just felt strong throughout it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fire House. Let's go! I don't care if I'm broken. Here we go! Big top row again from John. Massive drive from Kieran. Wow! One more. Let's give him one more. And into the war we go once again. I have nothing to lose at this point. I have nothing to gain at this point. This is just for the love. This is just for me. This is just for Kieran. It's just for us. It's just fucking amazing. John Thompson sweating like Todzilla in a sword. Here we go, last round, ladies and gentlemen. It is on. Thompson and Morrison all won the score. Amazing battle. Ready to go. Here we go. Incredible scream in the centre of the table again. Thompson and Morrison all higher middle weight division. Come on, Morrison trying to finish again there, couldn't do so. But this is an absolute lively wrestling match. Incredible slap. the best match I've ever had. <laughs> hey lad, 
big round of applause for that. That was fucking awesome. Four to two. Kieran Morrison. <laughs> Motherfucker. We will see each other again. I, uh, and I can't wait. Kieran Morrison, flying the flag for Scotland. Triumphant return to the Arm Wars Super Series. Scotland's own Braveheart, doing what he always does. The man showed up, the man <laughs> left it on the table, like few ever have, and he goes home, north of the border, a deserving winner. Love that lad. My greatest weapon of all is my refusal. I will keep going even if it is an inch from the pad. I will keep going even if I am broken. If you have snapped my arm, I'll probably still show up to training the following day. But John, in this match, you've well and truly broken me. That's off, pal. I did win. I leave Iron House more iron than when I arrived. So you're thinking back, best matches in Arm Wars history and there's been so many. I'm thinking, Frodo Hoglund versus Nicholas Narmstad. I'm thinking, Monster Michael Todd versus Devon Larratt. Acid Rain, Manchester. I'm thinking Yoshinobu Kanai, Ron Bath, Triple XL London. I'm thinking John Thompson, Keevan Morrison, Iron House. What's, what's Arm Wars to you, mate? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, James. For, for people out there, who don't know much about arm wrestling, how much arm wars means. I'm not gonna be able to explain to you the emotion of, of having been chosen. If I am gonna do arm wrestling, that's where I wanna do it.